بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم فرینڈس ان دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو ہاؤ ٹو ڈیزائن اے ٹائمنگ بیلٹ ان سولڈ ورکس اینڈ آفٹر ڈیزائننگ دس ٹائمنگ بیلٹ آئی ویل آلسو میک سم میڈس ان سچ اے وے دیٹ دی ٹائمنگ بیلٹ ول موو الانگ ود دی گیئر سو کیپ واچنگ دس ویڈیو ٹل اینڈ اور اف یو وانٹ ٹو ڈاؤن لوڈ دیز پارٹس فار یور پریکٹس آر ڈاؤن لوڈ لنک از مینشنڈ ان دی ڈسکرپشن آف دس ویڈیو بفور گوئنگ فردر let me introduce you to my youtube channel solid works tutorials and engineering news where you will find a huge quantity of videos regarding solid works and engineering so please don't forget to press subscribe button and this bell icon for all upcoming video notification let's start first of all we have to design the gear so for that click on new button here and then double click on the part now on the front plane click on it and then sketch on it Draw, uh, click on this arrow in front of line command and then select center line start the center line from the origin press the escape button then again draw a simple line start it from here now define the sketch by using smart dimensions so this diameter is 10 mm and this diameter is 100 mm press escape button and then select both of these lines make their relation equal now select this point and this point make their relation horizontal select these four lines and make their relation equal also select this point and this point make their relation vertical and make vertical relation for both of these points now define again total width is 30 mm distance from this line up to this line is 20 mm this height is 5 mm and this height is 10 mm our sketch is now fully defined so go to feature tab and apply revolved bow space command system has automatically detected the center line as a axis of revolution so press ok button now click on this space and then sketch on it make normal to and then draw a sketch by using line press escape button select this line and this line make their relation equal now press and hold control key and select this midpoint and the origin make their relation vertical also select this midpoint and this midpoint make their relation vertical now define this this, this length is 3 mm and this width is 5 mm total height of this sketch is 6 mm press escape button now draw a point on this quadrant point press escape button and then drag this sketch here now define again distance from this point up to this line is 3 mm press okay button and then go to feature tab and select extruded cut command cut it from through all and press okay button now select fillet command from here and the fillet radius is 1 mm 
like this corner and this corner press ok button click on this arrow below the linear pattern button and then select circular pattern select this face and then this fillet select this box pattern axis and then click on this circular edge type here the quantity 40 and press ok button now save this part again start from a new part at this time I am going to design the shaft so draw a circle on the origin and define its diameter which is 10 millimeter and then apply extruded post space feature on it extrusion length is 10 millimeter press ok button save this part also Now start from a new assembly and then import shaft into the assembly. Now import gear. We need one more gear and one more shaft. So press and hold control key and then click and drag the gear to make its duplicate. Also drag the shaft to make its duplicate while pressing the control key now click on this cylindrical face of shaft and then select mate now click on this cylindrical face of gear and do not log rotation press ok button similarly select this face cylindrical face of shaft and this cylindrical face of gear do not log rotation press ok button now select this face and this face of both shafts press ok button select this face of gear and this face of gear and press ok button scroll down and then expand this option advanced mates from advanced mates select width mate select both sides of the shaft and then both sides or both faces of gears to make width made press ok button again press ok button at this point I am going to tell you how to define the distance between two pulleys or two gears this question was asked by Mr. Mahesh Babu on our YouTube channel so let me show you how to define the distance between two pulleys or two gears for that press and hold control key from your keyboard and then select this cylindrical face and then this cylindrical face now release the control key and then from here select mate in the mate options or from here select distance now you can type here the distance so at this time I am going to add 110 millimeter distance between both of these shafts press ok button now again press ok button now let's see both gears are working or not now we need to make fix this shaft because uh, whenever we will try to rotate the gear it will move along with the gear for that right click on the shaft and then select fix now you can rotate both of the gears so now it's time to make the belt mate for both of the gears for that click on this button assembly features and then select belt and chain select the cylindrical face and type here the diameter 100 millimeter now select this cylindrical face and also type here the diameter 100 millimeter
scroll down and from here check this box create belt part press ok button save and continue expand this tree on the left side belt one and then expand this tree for belt part now click on the sketch tool and then edit it simply go to features tab and press extruded boss base feature command now double click on this face and then check to this box direction 2 for the direction 2 type here the distance 2.5 millimeter now check to this box thin feature scroll down and make sure that extrusion is on this direction type here the thickness for thin feature which is 2.5 millimeter and press ok button now press this button to save and exit from editing mode if you rotate the, uh, one gear this other one is also rotating due to belt feature now we have to make this belt as a timing belt so for that click on this face and then sketch on it from here expand the belt one option and then click on this sketch and then press this button convert entities now save and exit from sketch click on this arrow below the insert component button and then select new part select this face and then make normal to now select this line this line and this curve also this line and this curve and press convert entities button now draw a three point curve and close this sketch press escape button now select this line and delete its relation delete all relation for this sketch Now go to features tab and apply extruded bow space command. Double click on this face and press ok button. Now press this button to save and exit from editing mode. Now click on this belt and then hide it. Now also hide this gear. Now we have to make the path made for this part so for that click on mate option here and then scroll down expand the advanced mates option and in the advanced mates select path mate select this point as a component vortex and then select this button selection manager select this select group option and then select this line this curve this line and this curve press ok button and press ok button again once again we have to create path made for this side for that click again on path mate and then select this point as a component vortex select again selection manager and then select all the sketch
and press OK button. Again press OK button. Now unhide the gear and then hide this sketch for belt. Make normal to So one more step we have to do is that expand the mates tree and then click on in place in place one mate and then uh, sub suppress it. Now we have to make a gear mate for this part with this gear. Now let's try and rotate it. So you can see gears are rotating but this part is not moving along with the gear. So how to fix this issue? For that click on mate and then scroll down, expand the mechanical mates option and in the mechanical mates option select gear. Now select the cylindrical face and type the diameter or number of teeth 40. And then select this edge. Uncheck this bo box reverse and press OK button. Again press OK button. Now try to rotate the gear and see how it's working. Now we have to make the curve driven pattern for this part. For that click on this arrow below the linear component pattern and then select curve driven component pattern. In the direction one expand this tree and then select this sketch. Check this box equal spacing and quantity is 70. Scroll down and then check this option offset curve and also check this box tangent to curve. Now select the components to pattern. So click on this component or this part and then press OK button. Now you can hide this sketch. Now we have to unhide the belt. So for that scroll down from here and uh, expand this option or feature belt 1 and in the belt 1 feature click on this belt one part and then unhide it. Now press this button rebuild. So now you can see how easily we had created our timing belt. The hardware of my laptop is too lazy. So it is difficult for me to animate it. Anyhow I am trying to show you if you can see. The belt is moving along with the gear. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more. Thanks for watching and sparing your time.